To edit a property, all you need to do is click on the Edit Pencil, located next to the property address. From here, you can edit all of your property information, including links, status, URL or website key, description, features, open house information, you can change the layouts and templates, and so much more. To get started, all you need to do is click on the pencil. And first you'll see the address status tab. Here it'll tell you the date added, the activation date, the date it expires, the property type, which you can change from the drop down menu, the listing status, which you can have as active, inactive, blocked, or sold. And if you ever need to see a description of each listing status, just hover your mouse cursor over the question mark right beside listing status. Then you can put in your property location, the address, the price, the city, the state, the zip code, the county, the community. And remember, only the things with the orange arrows next to them are required. The next tab you have is the Details and Links tab. On here is where you can put your property details, such as bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, lot size, garage, year built. Make sure you put the MLS number in. That way, PicturePath can connect this property virtual tour to Realtor.com. The property financials you can put here as well, and the property links, a school link. The demographics link is already defaulted to bestplaces.net. You can supply a link to a different one if you would like. This is where you would put it. A community link if you would like that on your site, or if you have a different virtual tour, you can put the link here. The next tab is the description and features tab, and this is where you would edit your title and your description and your property features. If you change anything, just make sure you always click Save. Layout and controls, this is your website key and website domain. If you wanted to change your website key to something different, you would do it here. It automatically defaults to your street address, but if you would like to change it to something else, you would change it here and click Save. If you have purchased a unique domain name for this property, you would enter it in right here and that is what would show up on your flyers. And then the website title tag, it tells you with the question mark what this is. The meta descriptions and the keywords as well, there's a question mark beside each if you're not sure what those are. You can also change your layout here if you would like and choose from the layouts down here at the bottom. The next tab is the open house tab. This is where you would enter your open house dates and your open house hours. By entering in the dates and the hours, the open house spokesperson will come onto your website telling people that there is an open house soon on this property. And it also will put a menu button on your property website that says open house. Next is a mis miscellaneous notes tab, and this is where you can enter a homeowner password if you would like to give your homeowner access to the site. You would put in a password here and click save, and then they would be allowed to log in from the property website. This is where you can stop certain third-party data feeds. As you can see, all of these are unchecked, which means this property that we're editing will not go to any of these third-party feeds. If you would like, you would just have these checked boxes next to the third-party website if you would like it to be fed to that website. This is where your Craigslist URL is. Also, there's property notes. The homeowner login cannot see these notes. These are just for you. And that's how you edit a property.